Hey guys, it's your boy Fresh Blood, and I'm here to talk to you about something that's really dear to me. Um, this is a this is commentary is going to be dedicated to my father, who uh, who sadly passed away about four years ago on January 18th. Um, I I I want to talk about my life and how I how he has made it better. Um. Well, let's first start off with what's talking about my life. Um, my life hasn't always been the easiest. I know a lot of people's lives haven't been the easiest. But um, it all happened around the same time. My grandmother died the day after Christmas, and my parents were broken up. They, what my mom calls, illegally separated. Um, and uh, it got hard. It got really hard after that. I became the, the man of the family. Um, my, uh, my mom became really ill. She came down with two deadly diseases. Uh, called One was called amyloidosis, which is the hardening of the main organs, and it happened to affect her kidneys. She had another one that she's had for who knows how ever, and it's, uh, it's called CJD. I think it affects your brain. I'm not sure what it does. Um, but that can lay dormant into your system for up to a hundred years. And, um, my mother, she is my rock. She's my everything. Um, but yeah, I'm dedicating this to my father because I miss him dearly. And I know he affected my life and my, my brother's life very much so. Um, he taught us, he taught us one major thing that I will never, ever forget. It's, um, if you put your mind to it, you can create anything. You can use any tools you have around you, even if it's a twig to create the most epic thing possible. My father was a mechanic. Um, he, he was always there for me if I needed him. I remember once I was uh, I was sick at school, and he had just painted his truck. He would drop anything for anyone, by the way. Um, he just painted his truck, and it was still wet. And my mom called him and says, Justin's sick at school. Can you come pick him up? And, of course, my father stopped everything he was doing, came pick me up. And uh, it really, it really, ha- it, if he wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't have found out I was really sick. I got a, a a parasite through my feet from playing in a uh, ditch trying to catch what we in the South call pollywogs. Uh, other places might be called like tadpoles or the fro- baby frogs. Um, and uh, it's it's from the feces of an animal. I didn't know it was there, and um, I was I was really ill. And what this disease or well, what this parasite was doing. It could eat my lower intestine, which is, uh, it's really bad. Without my father picking me up that day from school, we, I, I could have, I could have possibly died. My, uh, my doctor said, if you don't take this medicine, you will die within a week. And that's a big shock for a young child. Um, so I took the medicine. My father pretty much saved my life, my mother and everything. Um, and, uh. I remember one thing that my dad did. He um he taught me one thing is I when I was little, he instilled in me that you do not raise your hand towards a woman ever. I find if you touch a woman inappropriate it is wrong beyond all belief. Um my father taught me this at a young age when I uh I smacked my mom when I was like 5. He picked me up by both my hands scared the living daylights out of me and was like, he, he sternly looked me in the face. He didn't yell at me and said, boy, you will never ever lay a hand on a woman ever again. If you do that. And I have never touched a woman inappropriately or hit a woman ever. I will never do that. My father taught me not to. Um, and my father, he, he, he could create anything if he got it in his head. He 
it, like I said, he was a mechanic and he, he sat back and he would just probably, he probably had so many ideas in his head that he could come up with anything, but he taught me what the main thing I got out of this was that I, I can live my dream. Uh, and if I can do it with anything that's possible, I can do it. Um, he gave me, he, he would, he would make a goat cart out of a lawnmower and a, a couple pieces of tubing and it would be welded together perfectly. So with little resources, you can come up with much, no matter what it is and who you are or what you are, whatever situation you're in, you can make it better. That's how he taught me that. And uh, let's talk about my life again, even though this is about my father. Um, I've also, uh, I've recently come the sole supporter of my, my mother and our household. And I'm trying my hardest to become something on this, this website. I am, and I know how it is. That's why I don't charge people for, uh, for trying to make a thumbnail for their channel or anything like that. I think if I can make it for them, it's better off because I would like to do something for someone else. My father taught me that do something for someone else all the time. Um, but my mother, like I said, she's, she's still sick. Um, she, she goes to, um, dialysis. She has, uh, both her kidneys are fully shut down. Um, and, um, they, she can't do anything about it. She goes to dialysis unless she gets a kidney donor and she loses all this weight and everything. She can't get a kidney and she's been on dialysis for about five years, about, I want to say 10 years ago. No, maybe, maybe like eight doctor said she would never live another three months. They were obviously wrong. And she fought through every minute of this. She fought hard. And, uh, I, I just, these are the people that influenced me in my life. My mother and my father, because my father fought until the day he died. He was, um, by the way, he had a uh, liver and pancreas cancer, which is probably one of the most painful things anyone can go through. I know my mother. Sorry, guys. Watch for part two. Thanks.